Hello and welcome back. Tonight's episode is going to be on X serial numbers. Now in front of us we have a Colt model 1911A1 or at least that's what it's shown as in the inventory but I'll get into that in just a minute. Now first thing is I want to talk about these X serial numbers. I'm going to go ahead and hold this pistol up to the camera so you can hopefully see this this X prefix. There you can see it okay. And um, what that is for is these were the X uh, serial number range was first suggested in August of 1922 and it was suggested to replace numbers of stolen pistols with missing or defaced serial numbers or for um, pistols that might have their numbers defaced during refinishing. So in 1924 uh, field service bulletin number four instructed arsenals to keep these pistols on hand until they had enough of them to ship to Springfield Armory. Now the first series was uh, 1924 through 1953 and those were at Springfield Armory. There was a second series of X serial numbers that began in 1941 and it was assigned to Augusta and Rock Island arsenals. And then there was also a third series of the X serial numbers that began in 1949 and those followed the last official serial number that was assigned in World War II. And the numbers were assigned to the ordnance facilities as the situation required. Now I've got the grip screws out of this as you can see here so I can go ahead and show you some of the details of this. Now we'll see this pistol here is Parkerized but this is not a 1911A1 frame. This is actually, we'll go ahead and start to take a look at it now, this is actually uh, no finger clearance cuts here. So this is actually a 1911 frame. And then the next thing we'll notice on it when we look at it is it has the longer trigger without any checkering on the front of the trigger. So this also shows that it is an older uh, pistol frame. And then we also here on the back have the long hammer and uh, this is the one that was notorious for the hammer bite. And then we're going to go ahead and pull the grips off since I have them loose so we can take a quick look at this. And then the first thing we'll notice with this, if you've seen the video on the heart shape openings you'll know what this means. This was the way they uh, helped speed up production and uh, get rid of a step during World War I. So this frame, we're going to narrow it down now even closer uh, to uh, World War I. And then we're going to go ahead and flip it over and take a look at this side. And I'm going to bring this up and try to focus in on this. And hopefully I can get a good focus on it. I've got to find it first. Here we go. Oops, lost my focus. Sorry about that. And what we have here, I'm trying to show you, is we have an S12 Eagle's Head inspection mark. Now it's pretty faint, but um, that right there helps really narrow the pistol's age down. And uh, that was issued or used, excuse me, May 18th through April of, uh, excuse me, May of 1918 through April of 1919. So now we've covered a few of the things with the frame and uh, oh yeah I wanted to show you too on this you should be able to see hopefully if I can get the reflection right where the grind marks are on the frame where the serial number is so right down there hopefully you can see that but uh, the serial number being ground out and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull the barrel off this real quick so excuse me while I take a moment to take this apart and Go ahead and pull it apart here. Take this out so it's not flopping around. We'll go ahead and examine this a little bit further. And I had somebody comment to me one time on one of the comments on that uh, heart-shaped opening how cool that looked with those. Well, I responded back how incredibly sharp those are, and that sucker bit me while I was taking off the uh, grips. Anyway, um, we're going to go ahead and look at this frame, and we know it's a Colt frame because it has this G stamped here below the disconnector hole so that's another clue as to the make of the frame and then uh, it has also of course the United States property stamped down here in the older place 
and of course it doesn't have the United States property stamped with model A1 on there because it's not. Now we're going to go ahead and look at this mainspring housing. Now this is a late mainspring housing that was uh, the Cayuga Motors that was issued to Ithaca and Colt uh, during the latter part of World War II. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, look at this barrel and here we have the G again and um, this is a Colt barrel so that part and then um, we're going to go ahead and take a look here now at the Remington Rand slide that's on this so there we have the, the uh, later date uh, the swept uh, front of the um, recoil housing right there on the front of the slide and then the Remington Rand slide here and then uh, while I have this apart there's something else here that this has on it uh, we have the grips here and you can see the inside of this grip has the uh, five-pointed star and the 13 and that denotes that it was made by Keys Fiber Company and these were manufactured for Ithaca, Remington Rand and uh, Union Switch and Signal and uh, this is an early style grip too because as you can see here it has no reinforcing rings around the outsides of the holes so what we have here is a pistol that was stolen and uh, redone at Augusta Arsenal and obviously they used several different parts for it and uh, put it together and out the door it went with an X serial number on it and uh, so we get to play a little bit of uh, gun detective here to determine what all the different parts and pieces came from but it's kind of fun to be able to go through these and identify them and that's some of the things that keep it interesting going through and cleaning all these is uh, seeing some of these different variations and uh, some of the things uh, components that are used to put these together as they're refurbished and uh, kept as functioning uh, government service pistols. Alright, hey, thanks for tuning in and watching. I hope you enjoyed this short video showing the uh, Mystery 1911. Alright, have a great evening.